Hey everybody, Jimmy here with the Triple C Collective for Turtle Tuesday. Today on this Turtle Tuesday, jumping into season excuse me here. Season two, episode seven, Enter Colon the Fly. Um, this is a really fun episode. This is a really great episode. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in. It opens with Shredder and Baxter trying to work on some sort of uh, machine on the top of the uh, World Trade Center. And <clears throat> the turtles are in the blimp, um, kind of tracking Shredder and Baxter trying to figure out what's going on. Um, as they're, as Shredder and Baxter are trying to make the machine uh, like work as they're turning it on, Baxter, it, like, it like fries out and it sizzles out you see a little bit of fire kind of like poo little kind of pop explosion thing on there and it uh the uh and then baxter's like oh, i forgot to reverse the polarities and it overloaded it so i'm sorry ah the turtles kind of see the uh like the smoke and stuff so they kind of had a little bit there they saw shredder and baxter there but they don't get to Shredder and Baxter in time. Shredder and Baxter are able to um, just like bail off of or on the top, bail their machine and like get out of there before the turtles are able to arrive and apprehend them. So Shredder is looking pretty pretty at uh, pretty good at that point, along with. Uh, uh, Baxter, they're able to get out of there. Back at the turtle lair, the shredders are or the turtles are talking about Shredder's plan with the twin towers. What was he doing up there? Why was he up there? Um, and <clears throat> trying to go ahead and you know figure what is his what is his play here? What's he gonna do here? What's he? trying to do um so of course what do the turtles decide to do um to figure out any plan what's what's the best plan making food pizza they have some pizza then we meet up with shredder and baxter they are on a garbage barge on their way um waiting for Krang to call so that they can figure out what their next steps are um <clears throat> things get kind of uh weird here Shredder is like, I, you know, Krang, I need some brawn now. I think that's what we need. I need more muscle. I need, I, I like, I want to see if brawn over brains will finally work as, a, like, you know, a jab at Baxter saying that Baxter hasn't been able to throt the turtles for them or be able to take care of the turtles for them in any way yet. Um, <clears throat> which is all, like, very funny and stuff because Shredder, you haven't done it either, um, even by yourself. Uh, your Baxter is supposed to help you, not like secure your for sure win. Um, so that was all very interesting, very funny to me. <laughs> A little bit on how Shredder's like totally throwing Baxter under the bus as like the worst person in the world and stuff like that. But what's weird is that Shredder then asks for Bebop and Rocksteady, and Krang right away says, okay. Which is weird because Krang previously has always been giving Shredder so much like crap and flack, basically saying, No, you need to do this on your no, you need to do this on your own, Shredder. <laughs> um, that's my Krang. It's not very good, but that's my Krang. Um <clears throat> So Krang is always telling Shredder, like, no, you need to do this on your own. I'm not helping you, I'm not helping you, despite usually then at some point giving in a little bit but this time there is no fight from krang which i just found to be a little bit weird um automatically krang says sure i'll send you bebop and rock study but we're in dimension x and there is like a balance that we need to keep here so if i'm sending those two you need to send me somebody else um and shredder's like fine take baxter because he's useless he doesn't help he doesn't add anything to the equation um which is weird i um i never i don't remember this i don't rem and i don't remember if it's a thing that kind of goes on forever here or if this is like a one time thing about like the balance of like having people in dimension x to going to earth and like offsetting stuff 
I have no idea. Um, so that was all like just very, very weird. But um, I also didn't really think about it until now. Um, we also haven't really seen Bebop and Rocksteady like be in it. Um, they have like I feel like they've spent most of their time in Dimension X, away from Shredder, away from Baxter not really being a part of anything just kind of being like side characters who talk and i mean they're kind of like side characters anyhow like cronies to shredder anyhow which is fine i'm not knocking it but it's like we haven't seen them do anything or be anything so it was great to it's great to see them come back from dimension x now back to earth by shredder's side to be able to you know fight the turtles super excited about all of it um then once the exchange of peoples have happened, Bebop and Rocksteady are back with Shredder. Baxter is with Krang and his android body in Dimension X. Shredder tells Bebop and Rocksteady the way that they take down the turtles is through their one and only weakness, April O'Neil. And it's very true. That is probably the turtles' only weakness is April O'Neil. Um, so that's that's their plan. That's their plan of attack. We get uh, Channel 6 now. April, you know, is typing away at the computer, you know, looking up leads, writing her, you know, next story or whatever. Um, she gets a flower delivery. Flowers are delivered directly to her desk, and she throws her face in them and takes a big inhale of them, as people do with flowers. Um, and <laughs> there is no note. There is nothing attached to it. April doesn't know who sent him. Irma th floats the idea that they were sent by the turtles because the turtles really like April. And then April kind of has um, a little debate. Like she walks all the way or takes this plant all the way back to the turtle lair. And it's like, we're from different worlds. We can't be together. The second she opens the door, or the second Splinter opens the door to her and notices the plant, Splinter freaks out and is like, oh my God, a Doku plant. April, have you, like, breathed it? How long have you had it as he's tossing it into the ground? Are you okay? Are you feeling anything? And April's like, I'm feeling, uh, and, you know, we got the classic thing, like, it's already too late, she's been exposed to it, and she faints. Uh, Splinter, you know, picks her up, moves her to the bed really quickly, and it's, uh, it's, pretty like you know scary stuff what's going on here april like faints and everything we go back to dimension x uh baxter's pleading his case like krang i can help you i promise i can help you you know you know you um like i promise i can help you i can really you know i can really help you i'm a scientist like i can help you out here i i am worthy of keeping around don't vaporize me don't do it um Krang is just like, no, I I am a scientist. I don't need you really at all. As opposed to Shredder willing to like see what Baxter can do. Um, because Baxter did make the mousers and everything in season one. And so like, you know, give him give him credit where credit's due. He made the mousers. He can make some stuff. So he's probably a mind to have, maybe not a mind to lead the whole operation, but a mind to have to help. Um Krang doesn't care. Throws him in the vaporizer, but there's, you know, a fly in the ointment. And Fly gets into the vaporizer. And this is where we get um, the Jeff Goldblum, David Cronenberg um, body transformation human to fly humanoid of Baxter Stockman. Which, now if you are a toy collector, as I'm sure you guys, uh, or all of you who come to watch these, um, have watched some of my unboxings and stuff. Well, um, one character that I don't have, not because I don't really care, it's just um, when it comes to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, mainly the toy line that I collect is based off the movie toy line, um, mainly from NECA. Um, but I do collect occasionally a couple pieces from the animated line. 
So like I said, if you watched the other, um, if you watched episode six, season two, episode six, Curse of the Pizza Monsters, I talk about having the pizza monster. I'm not going to show you the pizza monster here. That's going to be saved for an unboxing once all 13 episodes from season two are up. Um, then I might drop an unboxing or two in between uh, season two and three because season three and four are huge, but we'll get to that later. We got Baxter Stockman vaporized, really transmutated into a fly humanoid here. Very reminiscent of, like I said, Jeff Goldblum and David Cronenberg. That's a great film. If you've never seen it, check it out. Great flick. Um, and we get Baxter Stockman talking like this, like he's a little fly. <laughs> Um, it's actually a really great voice. I, I actually love the fly St Baxter Stockman voice. Um, for anyone, again, who's a, a, a toy collector, they do have this particular figure from NECA and from Super 7. And I believe somebody else has a really neat glow-in-the-dark one. It could be Super 7. It is not NECA, though. Um, either way, really cool little toys that are out there of uh, fly Baxter Stockman. Um we get a cut back then to the to turtle lair. I almost said toidal lair. Um, turtle lair. April still, you know, knocked out, laying in the bed. Turtles are returning, and they're like, oh, my God, they're in so much shock from uh, what happened to April. They need to save her. They feel terrible. Um, Splinter tells the turtles, like, we need a Gazai plant, um, which is the only thing that can counteract the Doku plant that she was given um we get a quick cut of crane telling uh shredder of fly baxter being a created and then b getting through the portal back to earth however crane doesn't mention about anything about the balance anymore so despite the balance being such a big important thing about bebop and rocksteady going back that Krang needed somebody else sent back here with him um, to get, like, Baxter here. But then to only vaporize Baxter Stockman, like, I don't get the balance thing. Um, unless it's something that Krang is ju was just trying to, like, pull one over on Shredder. Totally pl plausible. But it was weird. I didn't, um, I didn't understand the play there. Um, I didn't get it. Of... Anyhow, we get... Then we get our first, um, after Krang has that call with Shredder, we get our first call then, or our first, sorry, our first Fly Baxter attack. Fly Baxter is back on Earth, and he sees the turtles, um, in the, uh, he sees the turtles, uh, uh, sees the turtles and attacks them. During this attack, the turtles are able to escape from Baxter into the blimp. Baxter then continues on his rampage, heading to Shredder. Once Baxter attacks Shredder, Shredder convinces Baxter that it wasn't Shredder who sent Baxter to Dimension X, despite it totally being Shredder, that it was actually the turtles. Um, then Shredder kind of, I mean, Shredder does tell the truth that Baxter and Shredder were fighting against the turtles, previous to going to dimension x which is true um so he kind of like tells the truth layered with this like lie of i didn't send you there it's the turtles remember we fight the turtles the turtles are bad there are enemies and all of that stuff um classic you know manipulation bad guy manipulation um of his cronies and like underlings and like people who could end up turning against him or like throtting his plans from the inside out um shredder uh oh i'm sorry uh so shredder Shredder talks to Baxter after talking Baxter down like, no, 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 we're friends. We get a cut to, um, <clears throat> we get a cut to the flower store. Turtles arrive as gardener, turtles in disguise, gardeners. Again, NECA, Super 7, everybody make a turtle line of turtles in disguise. 
I would love to see um, pizza delivery. I would love to see fake beard construction worker turtles. I'm sure there's people out there who would like to see uh, turtles in gardener disguise. Um, please, NECA, Super 7, all you great toy manufacturers out there, playmates, all of you, please make it happen. Please make it make it happen, please. Um, they get the last uh, gazai plant in the entire Western Hemisphere, as the flower shop owner tells them. Um, Donatello says, oh, man, I think we got the wrong change. Leo responds back saying, oh, yeah, that that makes sense. I didn't I, I, I Leo says, oh, that makes you know, I, that that explains a lot. I never thought I didn't think he had enough sense. Um, boom, boom. And uh, so, again, man, these 80 corny dad jokes. I love them. So good. Um, <laughs> but I I love it. This rewatch and everything has been so much has been so great and has been so fun. I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Um, Baxter Baxter again flying around after talking with Shredder, sees the turtles in disguise. We get a cut back to Shredder um getting this spider slayer like machine working and i say spider slayer if you ever watch spider-man the animated series from like the 93 94 ish area going forward for like the hundred or so episodes it ran um there's an episode in there or a couple episodes dealing with spider slayers this um what shredder eventually calls the knucklehead machine totally totally looks like um an early version of the spider slayers that you would see you know like five seven years later in spider-man the animated series um but the spider slayer shredder it has it wrap up uh rock steady and shredder's really happy with that test rock steady's also really happy i passed the test i passed the test God, Bebop and Rocksteady are just so dumb. Um, the, <laughs> I'm just, oh man, it's just so funny. Um, but, and with, with how the knucklehead worked and how uh, Rocksteady responded with passing the test, Shredder then decides to officially name this machine the knucklehead after Rocksteady. Um, then we get the call from Baxter saying hey i found the turtles they're in the skies shredder's wondering where uh the turtle where baxter and the turtles are baxter of course is still fly baxter so he doesn't have all of it he's not completely human so he's lost some stuff a little bit he's regained he's kept a lot of it but he's lost a lot too being able to tell directions on where he is and stuff in like this city that would normally be called familiar to him. He just has no idea where it is or where he is or anything like that. Um, Shredder, <laughs> Shredder says he do it doesn't matter. He'll track him via the comms. Then we get the Fly Baxter versus Shredder versus Bebop and Rocksteady versus the Turtles ending the episode basically and it is so great we get awesome fight music again whoops as i just hit my microphone ow that kind of hurt um we get the awesome fight music uh donnie handles shredder and donnie hits shredder with uh with his bow staff again and it's like the the staff is mightier or the bow is mightier than the blaster which is a great little line then the knucklehead though Sneaks out, gets Donatello, wraps him up in the rope just like we saw Rocksteady. Then we get Bebop and Rocksteady coming out of the van, um, shooting and firing. As they're shooting and firing out of the van, um, Leonardo deflects the, the blaster fire from Bebop and Rocksteady and has it deflect, destroying the knucklehead, releasing Donatello in the turtle's leave for april in their blimp then the blimp gets attacked by fly baxter the turtles escape in their glider which is like one of the coolest things about the blimp is that there's the big old blimp like the balloon portion of it 
And then they have their glider so that they can always detach it and then the blimp is either just floating or the blimp gets popped. However, we're not seeing a lot of patches being put onto that. However, I don't know if the blimp really needs patches for it or if they just have like so much extra material for it. Either way, we've seen this thing get popped like three times, three or four times in like the last like four or five episodes. So I'm just saying, I think they, I think we need to see some maintenance. Um, the turtles have escaped into their blimp. Baxter attacks. They, they escape in the glider, but the glider crashes into the street. The turtles re-escape up the building back onto the blimp that conveniently has four dangling ropes on it that they're holding onto. Bebop and Rocksteady from the ground are shooting their blasters up at the turtles hanging dangling from the blimp. The uh, Leo kicks open a like valve release that releases air quickly from their blimp shooting the turtles away from the blaster fire to some sort of safety before the turtles then um, drop or as the or before the turtles drop from their turtle trooper shoot packs which is just parachutes that the turtles have turtles recoup into the turtle lair they're super sad they're defeated because they dropped the plant and when leo sh- kick that release valve he drops the plant that he was holding the guys eye plant to help to cure april here so he drops the plant back at the turtle lair they're all defeated you know splinter says it's okay we still got a little bit of time but we need to find shredder we need to do this when shredder then invites the turtles to have a ninja on ninja no special weapons fight um to get the cure for april we get a shot of uh, the junkyard of a junkyard battle, which is very similar to like the setting of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2: Secret of the Ooze, where Shredder um, recoups and like regroups his uh, Foot Clan uh, members there um, after his defeat at the end of the first uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is great. Um, But this junkyard battle is great. Uh, Shredder and Fly Baxter have set up this electrode trap that if you go in between these two electrodes, that poof, you disappear. Shredder, or the turtles show up. They're battling um, Shredder and Baxter and Bebop and Rocksteady. The turtles kind of feel and even say that they're getting herded towards this one area. Unbeknownst to them, they don't see that the electrodes are necessarily there or what they're going, then the electrodes kind of start to glow a little bit. Splinter shows up in the turtle van driving by him, by himself as backup because April O'Neil is unconscious still back at the turtle there. So Splinter, who doesn't drive, never drives, shows up in the turtle van, crashing through the junkyard, knocking the turtles out of the way of the electrodes, but also then shooting Baxter near the electrodes. Baxter gets caught up in the electrodes and disappears. We don't see Fly Baxter again for the end of this episode. Um, after this, uh, you know, Shredder uh, Shredder disappears after Fly Bas- Baxter disappears in the electrodes. Then we get a uh, the turtles back in the turtle lair. Michelangelo, again, having another pizza. What's on the topping? anchovy and gazai leaf so nobody else wants any part of that michelangelo of course is able to have that crazy wacky pizza all to himself as we get the uh credits rolling so i want to thank you all again for joining me here on this turtle tuesday presented by uh the triple c collective my name's jimmy clark stay safe cowabunga